Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space comedy simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the rock full of brains, a whole bunch of asteroids out in the wilds of space, but more importantly, there is a space capsule out there with Planck on it. For the past couple of cycles, 10, 12 cycles or so, Planck has been turning plastic into data banks. These data banks we can turn into science, and to be able to do that, we are going to bring the rocket home. Yes, indeed. The, the rocket lives on a pi Axlin, but unfortunately our research does not live here. Uh, hopefully we can watch uh, Rocket. I mean, it's got the name there. Maybe if we can watch the Rocket land. What's going to happen now is uh, Plank is going to come out of this capsule and try and make deliveries down to the bottom of the map. Down at the bottom of the map, we have a teleporting device that moves goods and materials from one asteroid over here to another asteroid reversely. And all the materials, in fact, fall out of this little hole over here. Hopefully we can watch uh, Plank come down. Nighttime has been called, so he's not gonna actually carry the data Plank. Has he dropped it somewhere? Have problems happened? No, I don't think so. <laughs> What has happened is a whole bunch of water is condensed from our steam rocket and now we're very wet everywhere. I should probably think of a better way of dealing with that at some point, but for now, I'm just going to mop it all up. Ruben is not starving. She just needs to use the toilet first for some reason. I have a lot of food. I, I, this is a bug in the game that just carries on. <laughs> Okay, it took a few seconds, but Maxwell has now delivered all of those data banks down to the conveyor loader. And this means that I want to send a plank back from whence he came. Yes, indeed. When Plank was first printed into this little universe that we have here, he wasn't born on this particular um, this particular asteroid. No, indeed. He was actually born on Reverslin over on the, another asteroid. If I, if I just show that this one's Piaxlin and this one's Reverslin over here. And that is where we are. Plank should now wander on down and wander on back up because we've got a whole bunch of research to do. And what research are we headed towards? Well, over here, you can see that the thing that I want is called a drill cone. If we go back to the star map over here there is a pile of resource that are just floating in the wilds of space and this is my aim for today is to start figuring out how that we can actually get a rocket taking off from Piaxlin maybe another rocket maybe this rocket taking off from Piaxlin going to get a whole bunch of materials from this empty uh, from this swampy ore field bring them back and then we'll deal with them obviously because that's that's what we do we just deal with stuff it's going to take a little bit of time for that to happen. And over Piaxlin, we have a small problem kicking off. You might be able to see that in my steam chamber over here, we have a gas pump that is broken. It's slightly overheated. I had a, a weird moment where I thought the gas pump could go up to 375 degrees. It turns out I'm wrong. It's 275 degrees. I've now turned the temperature control down, but I need to get in there to be able to fix this particular problem. And there's really only one way that I can do it, and that is with a liquid liquid lock. I, I'm not overly fond of liquid locks as I say every time that I build one, but sometimes it's the only way to bust open a side without letting all the steam out. I, uh, when, if I want to break these two blocks here to allow a duplicate in and out, there's going to be a gap where steam can just flow out, and I don't want that, that, that steam to flow. I need it to be able to stay in place, and the way I'm going to do that is by making a small puddle of uh, either petroleum or crude oil. Yeah, we're not up so high a temperature that it will flash into petroleum uh, so I could put one of those two materials on the floor and I've just noticed that actually what I need to do is bring this ladder up here and that will hold back the gases because liquids and gases cannot occupy the same tile so that should well that will hold our steam in for us whilst we send Curie in to go fix the steel pump maybe <laughs> I say maybe because I'm not sure who's gonna go in there Wh whoever actually manages to go in there and do it a brave person brave person still working away at the research all the space research is very nearly done we're just now down to the uh the radiation research which is being very nicely harvested from all of these wheeze warts and put into the material study terminal over here we just we just need plank to churn through it the next day plank is literally just going to spend all of his time churning through this applied research science here I, i'm hoping i'm hoping that we've got enough to see us through when this red bolt 
The rad bolt generator will shoot out here. Is this is this actually going to spit? It looks like it's getting close. We can hold on and wait. One thing else that I'm looking to hold on and wait for is this uh, volcano over here. Half a cycle puts us down to this little bump on the rock there. We'll try and make sure that we head back in time. How are we doing over this side? We're building some more of the infrastructure in place. That's good. But more importantly, what's going on over here? I need to be able to pick up some crude oil. And this is taking a little bit of time to go through everything. I'm kind of hoping that this polluted water will get mostly picked up and pumped away so that we can then get to the pitcher pump. I also need to get rid of these mesh tiles underneath. Uh, I unfortunately cannot use polluted water as my liquid lock. It's going to be far, far too hot. Uh, 196 degrees is just is too much. It's too much. Okay, the, uh, the uh, pitcher pump is down. We've got access to three kilos of crude oil. I think that's going to be more than enough. If I come along here and go crude oil all and then enable auto bottling and someone should immediately yeah may maybe at some point should immediately get on it let's let's force the issue shall we let's force the issue okay so we picked up all of that crude and there is no more crude available to this pump i'm kind of okay with that i'm kind of okay with that uh mostly gonna wait and see how much crude oil gets dropped on the floor i I don't want to cover the whole floor because I don't want it spilling up and over. But at the same time, I want there to be enough that when I destroy these tiles, it can flood in. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll just see how much gets put on the floor. I mean, this is another three kilos here. Maybe, maybe we can pick that up afterwards if that's a thing that needs to happen. Let's see what happens when we pour this one in. I'd kind of like to be pouring... Okay, that's that's fine, actually. Let's mop this up. I was going to say, I'd kind of like to be pouring as we are digging our way through I think I think those two actions would go very well together we need to get these these crude oils mopped up and put into the system okay mop is happening thank you very much Maxwell that's exactly what we needed but more importantly are you then going to come up and pour the rest of this in here I mean maybe at some point you've got got a lot of other jobs that you're trying to get to Okay, we're going to do this in a slightly weird way. I'm going to undock the suit. I'm going to click on the suit and I'm going to say, Curie, can you put this suit on for me, please? I'm, I'm then going to deconstruct this bit up here. I, th I think this is the next thing we need to do. Curie should hopefully, running around in this one little suit, be fully prepared for everything that's about to come her way. I'm just, I really hope we've got enough crude oil here to hold back this flood of steel, of uh, steam, sorry. Okay, all right, that, that was good, that was good. I'm now just gonna hit, hit like, super go. Super, super go, and hopefully Kiri's gonna come along and fix this. Well, she's carrying the steel with with food poisoning on it. Crazy, crazy. Uh, so I think she's doing the thing that we need, we need her to do. Okay, this is good. This is, like, beyond good. This is exactly what we want. Amazing. All right, great, awesome. Is she gonna go fix the stuff in there? No, I will, however, like to get this built as as fast as possible i'm a little disappointed that she stole the materials from the wall to build a ladder but i i suppose that kind of makes sense all right with with this going back in place that should be our entire system and i've spent just a little bit too long haven't i let's come back over is there any are we, are we erupting yet 7.4 cycle where where'd the lava go oh, i bet did it get picked up by this 170 i don't know where's all the lava gone i really wish i'd been here to watch it it might it could be this it could be that uh, 127 kilograms per second but how long does it erupt for 70 seconds so yeah where's all the where's all the is it in here no that's obsidian very very cold i i don't know what's happened to all my lava magma <laughs> well in positive news we can now refill our rocket that that's what we need to do i'm gonna sit here and watch this until it gets um, about 140 inside can we actually see the internal amount of steam anywhere there yeah, there we go 30 kilograms at the bottom once this gets up to about 140 i'll flick the switch and it should be able to eat it all again okay great wait curie's not wearing the atmosphere so what what happened to it where did the atmosphere suit go what no uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna say deliver the suit but where but where uh, we've got a worn atmosphere suit somewhere at large. Where are you? No, no, zero units. Where's the other one there? What? Are they both being worn now? Okay, that's good. That's good. Well, I'll just accept that. That's fine. <laughs> it turns out that a bottleneck in the science research is the Red Bolts production, which is kind of a shame because we do have quite the amount of uh, radiation kicking off there. I, it's, it, we're so close, but really, we've not got much further than when I last spoke to you. Ah. 
Okay, I spotted one of the issues we we're having. If we add this up, two 480s are like, uh, two 480s are like 960, something like that. Plus the 120 pushes that well over a thousand, uh, uh kilowatts which is what only one transformer can produce 1000 watts sorry one kilowatt let's not get confused with our uh, our units here uh so i had to put a second one down and now we can actually keep the power running without draining all the power from this end red bolt generator here because that's what was happening when we were using the material study power terminal uh all the power was being drained and this guy was shutting down and not able to carry on producing the red bolt so hopefully this is now going to produce them even faster we can hope we've, we've jumped forward a fair bit and whilst we take this moment to watch Plank cruise into the future, performing as much science as he possibly can, I would like to take this moment right here to thank other people that are helping me cruise into the future. That's right, scrolling up your screen right now, you see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls who have taken the time out of the day and their money out of their work to go to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and make sure me and my channel can survive on this encroaching heatwave that we call life right now. It's thanks to the people running up the screen that I am able to do what I am able to do, so I'd like to take this moment to thank them from the very bottom of my heart and say thank you so much you guys really do mean that this can carry on as it does well, we've been watching Plank now for the best part of seven cycles, as shown by the way that the minor volcano is ready to pop at any moment, and we've not actually got all the way down with one more point, one more point, but we've earned ourselves a colony achievement. Uh, the research popped in front of my face before we can actually click. All right, let's 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 check out the research. This is pretty good. We've gone and got ourselves the high velocity destruction, the drill cone. That is the next thing that we are working on, but you know what, whilst we're here, should we go back and have a look and find some stuff that needs some... Um, some 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 applied science research here let's go for the oxalite refinery the molecular forge the soda fountain and the large gas canister uh for the rockets i think i think that's just going to be good. The oxalite refinery and the molecular forge are kind of the next steps on the industrial path. So we're going to do that. Uh, I wanted to get rid of this. Let's have a look at the colony of that achievement that we have just achieved. It's going to open up, yes indeed, the radical trip. Have rad bolts travel a cumulative 10 kilometers. This tiny little gap here is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, let's say like 15 meters. 15, like one, ten, ooh, 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 ooh. 10 kilometers divided by 15 meters like that's a lot of trips that's a lot of trips so why didn't this lava flow like this last time that this should have erupted i don't know i literally have no idea thankfully though the magma has melted this little bit of rock here okay the doors are closing this should mean that this now backs up the erupt the uh Ooh, 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 ooh. The eruption is complete. Is this not going to be hot enough to get going? Wait, there is a problem here with at my automation. Uh, the door should have closed before these fired up. So we've got this at 200 degrees. Why is this not clo Why is there such a temperature difference between the middle here and that over uh, this 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 square here? What? Why is this not coming up this way? Okay, well let's put this at 150 then. Yeah, let's put this at 150. Let's, let's see if this does what I would like it to do. When do we have our nups next eruption? At 15 cycles. That's fine. We can wait for 15 cycles while this goes through and pulls out all the heat from here. Great. Well, I just watched the problem happen. Unfortunately, I was processing my video at the time, so the recording didn't happen. But let's have a look in this box. 1300 degrees C igneous rock. It sits there. It's causing us problems. I know what has happened. The rock came in and uh, solidified. The, the lava fell in and solidified. This metal tile, very hot, but unfortunately not passing down the temperature to this thermo sensor here. And the way I'm going to deal with that to fix this, we've got a little bit of uh, hydrogen set up over here. We need to try and get some of this oxygen out of the system so that we can move it. But I'm going to I'm gonna just like grab this and push it up here. We're going to try and make this vent spill out into this area and then I'm going to break that and let the hydrogen flow up into there. That's my plan. I will see you when it's either worked or not worked. We'll, we'll see. I'm mostly wondering if we can get stuff past this generator here but it turns out no probably not what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna throw that on below for a second just pump a whole bunch of gas out this 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 comes with all sorts of problems if i pump it too far but i'm gonna sit here like this until i see something fly past we're not gonna watch anything fly past
fast, are we? Let's, let's press it. Okay, there goes some. That, that's good. That's all I needed. That was all I needed. I've now set this back up to how it should be. And we didn't spill over. That's good. If that, that little gas lock had been um, messed up there, we could have been having some trouble. I tell you what, that, oh, why won't you flow up into there? What's the problem with that? I'm, I'm going to then also cut this line. Will, will you flow back that way? All right, brilliant. Great. Wonderful. Uh, I then want to break this. And I don't want to let people sleep until it's done. If we're lucky, people come along and do it before the hydrogen gets up there. But I've, I've got a feeling we're not going to be that lucky. In fact, in my, oh, no, no, here comes Rutherford. Great, that, that's good. I'm now just going to watch these gases flow around. Because if it goes out this way, we're in trouble. Come back, come back. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of just expecting it to go up and left, you know? But instead, it's just kind of hanging around. And I'm not sure why. Especially as I would like to build one of these back when we're done. Oh, it just, it totally just skipped past it. Just go on, go, get up in there. Get up, go on, you can do it. Don't go this way, please. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we, we got we got some in there. That's good. I've, uh, I've hit battle stations to try and get people up here quick. I just, I can get rid of those. Uh, and hopefully someone's going to come along and fill this in before this starts spilling more, more uh, hot stuff down here. The, the hot stuff would be very awkward. Okay, that's a good night time bit of panic there. I think I think we're fine with that. I think we're fine. 191 should now tell these guys to turn on, but of course they're already on. Uh, another thing I'd like to do is move this atmosphere sweeper, uh, auto sweeper, sorry, back one, so we can hit both of these tiles. I, I think that would be helpful because this is going to get cold at some point, and then I'd like to be able to get that out of there. But until until that happens, we're just going to be happy that we put hydrogen here. Beautiful. Okay, so the next thing I need to do, we need to come over to Pyaxon because, of course, we have got the research done. If I come along and remove this module, it might take a little bit of time to get that done. But if I then go plus and try and find the drill cone in here and see what we're missing, we're we're bound to be missing some materials, right? There's the drill cone. Let's have a look. Must install at the top of the rocket. Okay, could could someone come and get rid of this, please? Okay, and thank you, Curie. We're gonna add a module above this. Oh, we've got everything. I'm just, I'm just gonna build it. I'm just gonna build it. Uh, we could also do with something just above this module here. There must be an orbital cargo module. Is that what I want? Delivers cargo to the surface. No, that's not what I want. Cargo bay. Uh, I, we want one of these. Of course, we want one of these. I might even just make it out of lead. We need more ladder. Of, of course, we need more ladder. But the up. But what happened here? Oh no, my 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 gases have. I was about to say the other thing that I need to put on is, of course, to be able to get the solid materials out of there. But it turns out I also need to build one of these again. Let's not build it out of lead. Let's build it out of steel, so it doesn't doesn't freeze. Yes. Oh look, the little arrow going into the rocket because this loads. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. The other thing I want to do is if we then come and have a look in this shipping, we should have solid rocket port unloader. Can that? Mm, not really anywhere to put it, is there? I wonder whether we can take down the ladders here and maybe put a connection across this, and, and then will our people walk up? I don't know. It seems bad somehow. I assume we melted the uh, the lead one, by the way. There's a bit of lead there. Uh, yeah, I can only assume that we did some sort of melty melt. Uh, where, where's the melting point? Yeah, 300 degrees. Yeah, we almost definitely melted it. And then when those are clear, we'll put down the unloader here. That that should work, right? Maybe we're going to have some power issues that need sorting out, but this should be fine. What do you reckon? Separate here and make a new power system coming up from below? Maybe. Research complete. All right, we'll, we'll worry about those afterwards. Uh, the, the important things is I can now make oxalite using uh, uh, oxygen and gold. Uh, I don't think we have access to gold right now. But also the molecular forge gives us uh, access to a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't have the ability to build it right now, but it's how we make like super coolant and, uh, and stuff like that. Okay, let's see if this picks up a little bit more heat. That that auto sweeper kicking in like that, not ideal, if I'm to be honest with you. But the temperature has risen. Let's press F3 and see it. Okay, that's that's good. The temperature has risen. I'm not 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 overly impressed with the way what uh, with the way the temperature is being passed around down here. We we could probably have done a little bit better than that, but no, no, we we now have a problem. Okay, this this is fine ish temperature got, got passed through but then this igneous rock collapsed down there's some, some weirdness going on with this i'm i'm really happy that this is just ticking over perfectly not really worrying about stuff and and literally it's all just down to the geometry of the doors here i will i will definitely be paying more attention to that when i build my next one 
So the drill cone actually also needs diamond to go with it. Let's let's go and have a look. Where did it say? A missing diamond, one kilo. Now, I don't know if we've got any down here. I, I'm fairly sure this was found on our other place. This is lead. Da, da, diamond, diamond. Okay, let's, let's go and dig some diamond, shall we? There's a little bit down there. I bet there's some that we have access to that's a little cooler. Diamond doesn't have a colour on the overlay, so it's really hard to find out what it looks like. I, okay, well, grey. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so it's really hard. Like, normally if I was looking for steel or something, I'd come round, go to metal, and you like the metals just kind of stick out. But turns out, not the diamond. So one of the things we can research, and I'm going to put it down to do so, uh, is this diamond press. We can use power and rad bolts to turn refined carbon into diamonds. Now, this is going to be something we actually have to set up on reverse, in, as it's the only place with uh, either rad bolts or a steady supply of refined carbon. But I think we can make that happen. We don't have access to the sky yet, but we can definitely make that happen. But in the meantime, we will be busting our way through this wall here, digging down and grabbing the diamond in this area. Turns out this is the only place we could grab some from, which is a little disappointing, if I'm to be honest with you. But uh, it's, it's, it's here. It's ready to go. So no problems. Cycle 687, I think it's time for us to send Plank back to wherever he came from before now. You know, it's, it, he's just going to spend most of his time teleporting around he comes here he goes there he does a whole bunch of stuff but he is the most important person at this present moment in time it used to be that curie and franklin were the most important but no right now uh, plank has some stuff to do and with the printing hopefully he's going to go around and do the things that are most important what i'm mostly interested to see is is he no no nobody seems to be interested in delivering the diamond up here uh, and another problem that i've noticed we've got if we come over to the star map and have a look at the swampy ore field we want cobalt ore right that's the thing that i want to fill my rocket with uh, if we go back to pyaxlin and have a look on the cargo bay come down to raw minerals uh, sorry raw metals Metal ore, that's the one I'm looking for. Uh, copper, iron, uranium. You might notice that there is no cobalt there. So I'm literally going to have to click all for this first trip and just deal with it as it happens. <laughs> Maybe we can't reach the active tile on this. Let's build some more ladders and see if we can get some deliveries going like that. All right, beautiful. Do you see the, the errand list suddenly just fill up? Great. Frankly, I'm going to be the first one to do so. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm about it. I'm about it. Something else we need to be aware of is we need to move the solid materials out of this when it comes back. Where's the conveyor rail? I've lost it. Uh, what I'm going to do for starters is just drop a little shoot down there. But I've got a feeling what we're going to end up doing is moving the materials from here to a, like a pro processing facility over here. We'll have like ways of dealing with the mud and the polluted mud. And then the cobalt can be reshipped off somewhere else. Who's scolding? Why? Boar, why are you scolding? What's going on? It looks fine. What about here? Mm, that's hot. But other than that, it looks fine. I suppose 50s are a little warm. Okay, delivery of a diamond complete. 1,000 kilos. I guess we're just gonna send Plank over. Let's go crew, and then we're gonna go over three out of ten tiles. That's very good that we have enough enough fuel to get there and back. Could, could you imagine? Could you? I, I can totally imagine. I can really imagine. Rocket recrew. Beautiful. Uh, you know what I haven't got? You know, uh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to turn this back on. Yes, indeed. I had to turn this off because everybody, no matter what the priority was here, was moving, material, was moving all the food from the Pyaxlene food stores into the rocket, whether we needed it there or not. Who put four grams, 4,000 micrograms into the barbecue of barbecue in there? I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't all right, change to crew. Let's get ready to go. We still have our destination set. That is cool. Waiting for... Wait for Plank. Where you at? What's, what's going on? There he is. There he is. Beautiful. Our only rocket, rocket scientist on board of the uh, the whole of the rock full of brains here. We might need to address that at some point. We've not had any new duplicates for a very long time, and I think it'd be a good idea to start thinking about that. Okay, we are ready to launch. Are we going to melt any of these things? I sure do hope not. Uh, same with all these unloaders here. I hope we're not going to melt any of that. Really need to figure out what we're going to do about all this water that just comes spilling up and over. It'd be nice to actually make a use of it, but let's watch the star map now there we go we are out and going it's gonna take us a little while to fly from spot to spot now the question i've got 
Is Plank just going to be flying? He can fabricate. He can also... Uh, that, that's all he can do at the moment. Of course, this telescope has one less range than the telescope we used at this place. So it's not until we move out here that we're going to actually have uh, some, some scanning to be able to do. That, that's fine. That's fine. I think Plank's just going to fly, though. Or he could eat. You know, you know and, and all of these are good. All of these. Is that 2.2? I feel like 2.2 cycles all the way to out here, but I'm, I'm not sure. Is it just to here? <laughs> Yeah, it, it's got to be all the way out. 0 0.9 uh, tiles per cycle. 1, 2, yeah, 2, two point whatever the remainder is. 2.2, of course. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Space ferry module, not drilling, abandoned ship. I, 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 I've never seen this one pop up before. Or maybe I have. How, how would I have controlled it else? It's been a while since I've done some rockets. It's been a while. <laughs> Ah, yes, and Plank is just getting to work while he's up here. That's great. How many data banks have we made so far? Twelve. And, and all we're doing is waiting to travel. Beautiful. One of the good things about being in space, watch the rads, go to the toilet, lose 100 rads. Okay, that's great. So what, what I need to be watching is this, like, remainder. You see, he's basically absorbed 18 this go. I do have a bunch of rad pills in here, but I've only got three. Turns out I've only got three. So we're going to have to try and... Um, ration those appropriately lots of battery warnings but as far as i'm aware everything should be fine oh and we've moved on and we've got a battery symbol uh, uh not a battery a telescope symbol yeah i know what i know what these symbols mean uh yeah plank has come over to do a little bit of telescope work i i'm actually all about that really all about that obviously would prefer if we've got this one but i think we're going to be too far away if this is our range yeah we, we're definitely going to be too far away I wish there was a way to set up an alarm for my gas canister here so if it gets down to a certain level it then tells me that I'm in trouble and I need to try and figure it out. That would be handy but unfortunately there's not. We, we just need to, to keep keep looking. You know what I'm also going to do? Let's turn that little notification off there. We didn't need that. So guys I've been working on in the background whilst uh, Plank has been out and about is to set up another cooling loop here. We've been having great problems with this area down here just getting too, too hot. So we've diverted what I call the hot loop that goes through the water so that the first thing that happens is it comes down and cools down our natural gas generators over here, hopefully bringing our ridiculously hot base down into more manageable figures. More importantly, we have reached the star field. Look at this. That's uh, wait. Can we can we go back over to the capsule over here? Do I have any way of actually telling it when it can and can't dig? What like what's what's going on here? I want to be able to click on this. All right, there we go. It just tells me it's drilling. All right, I I couldn't turn it on and off. It just does its thing. All right, we're burning through diamonds pretty quick, but that's fine. That's fine. If we then come over to here and have a look at our cargo bay. We're also filling that up pretty fast, but not that fast. We've only got 1.5 tons out of 12, so we should be fine. We might even have some drill left before we start returning. So we've got about 10 tons cargo space remaining, and we're filling it up at 7.5 kilograms per second. That gives us about 1,333 and a third seconds worth of loading to do. It, that, that's a little bit of time. That's a little bit of time. I suppose my big question, now that downtime has been called, is the drilling an automatic process? Does it require duplicate input? I, do, I don't think so. I think we're just filling up. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is very cool. It should be some a breakdown here. Nice. 700 kilos of mud, 2.7 uh, tons of dirt, and cobalt ore. I mean, all that polluted dirt. That's nice. If, if only I had the... Ah, oh, the anger crabs, what they call poke shells. If only I had the poke shells to feed it to. I think I may have slightly overloaded this place with food. 131,000 calories. I mean, that's more than I've got over at Pyaxlin, and Reverselin is also struggling. <laughs> oh, we're getting a little radiation warning here, so I'm going to come through. I am going to find Plank on the consumables list, and we're going to scroll back and tell him we can eat some Brad Pills. These two shouldn't be able to. Oh, we're at the point where he's not actually eating the red pills properly. Okay, is he all little red spots on his face? Is he like actually blistering? Is that is that a thing? That's weird. So we're about halfway through filling our cargo bay over here and I'm looking at this, wondering whether we could have actually put two cargo bays on this and then for the amount of diamond we're going through, being able to fill both of them up and go back. Because yeah, we're not wasting our time too much out here now that we've got a uh, plank going through and doing the space science whilst he doing this this is a, a, this is a double use of our time this is amazing i've noticed that we're starting to lose a bunch of natural gas up this way 
Is this because we're starting to run out of... Oh, there's a slick there. There's a long-haired slick there. What are you doing here? Uh, we're starting to run out of um, slicks here. Six, five. Yeah, we, we are. Why, why are they not being moved from here? Are we just not producing enough? Is it not hot enough in here? It is. It's really hot. Why are they not producing? So watching these numbers here, I put exactly a ton of diamond in. 1,000 kilograms. Are we going to hit... 1,000 as we hit 12 tons of cargo space, or are we not? I think we're going to hit 500 as we hit 10 tons. Hmm, this is close enough. It's close enough for me to call it that. So we wouldn't have actually been able to do two cargo bays, but we would have been able to get all the way through the diamond drill cone and only had four tons of space left over, which would be an eighth of the of the space, right? No, a sixth. A sixth. Of the, my, my maths is good, Joe. Now, a question I've never known the answer to. This total mass remaining, does it regenerate over time? Is that is that something I'm doing, or does it just once once I've once I've got it all, I've got it all? Both both are good answers to me. I don't I don't mind which one. Oh, are we done drilling? I think I think we might be done drilling. Where's my cargo space? Okay, we're going back. We're go we're going home. Might might take a while. Oh, plank, please not. He's not he's not he's not ratted. All right, great. Ninety five rads. All right. Well, chilling here has been achieved. I'm going to assume it's going to just kind of spread out as life goes on, right? I I think we can assume that. I oh, know exactly one cycle to go back and downtime has just been called. Ah, oh, we're gonna we're gonna turn up just in time to not be able to do anything. That that's great. Ah. Uh, oh. Well, this was quite the trip out. Not only did we manage to fill our cargo bay with 8 tonnes of polluted dirt, 1.1 tonnes of cobalt, and 2.4 tonnes of dirt, of mud, sorry, we also got ourselves 135 units of uh, data banks, which are incredibly cool, and we should actually be coming in for a bit of a landing, oh, I'm fairly sure that timer just reset, in about 30 seconds, so we, we just need to let that happen. Over here on Pi Accent, of course, I have readied myself to just empty everything out. We will, of course, be getting down to a little bit more um, precise situations at some point where we can move the materials only the materials that we want to move okay here we go moving in for the morning I wonder what happened with the timings of that I bet it's because Pi uh, because Plank is sleeping let's let's hit on put no not reversing Pi accident over here okay we, we just kind of got to watch that land okay that that's good over here we are dropping all the cobalt ore that is great and with that I am gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen I will see you guys uh, next time where we are going to deal with this 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 output here it's, it's all great just throwing all the materials on the floor but we definitely need to move the cobalt ore to somewhere where it can be processed maybe into actual cobalt as well as cobalt ore uh, and of course we've got all this polluted dirt and mud to be dealt with but i will see you then oh and we're gonna do that bye